Hi there, welcome to the Beaten Trail. In today's episode, we're going to cover the UTV Fall Takeover at Darkwater. So here we are at the Fall Takeover and Everything is going pretty well here. It's a little breezy. The sun is nice and warm. All the vendors here are set up and ready to go. I have a band tonight, and as you can see, the camping area is quite full. And everybody's having a good time and riding, and uh, seems like we're gonna have a clear weather day, which is just a little bit of wind, and that's it. And temperatures probably be down about 38 tonight for the night ride, so. We'll have more of that, but stay tuned. And the check-in tent was just busy nonstop from when the gates opened. And there were plenty of people that were coming in, signing their waivers, getting their wristbands, paying for tickets. Uh, although tickets were sold in advance as well, they were also sold at the gate. At least a thousand individuals bought tickets, but they just kept coming and coming. So the vendors were set up. We were there as well and selling hats and shirts and stickers. There were vendors that were selling parts and repair kits. There were food vendors there as well. So overall, a great turnout and it was set up pretty well and we had everybody there and ready to go and it was busy the whole weekend. Our local enforcement officer here makes sure everything goes off without a hitch. So, speaking of hitches, waiting for Adrian to get back here so we can uh, check out his ride. We'll see you soon. Of course, we had to visit Minersville and check out the trail into town. Now, this was the first time it was open under its new direction and trail path, but uh, it will be permanent or by schedule in the future. We wanted to give thanks out to Sean, the mayor of Minersville, as well as Famous Redding for making this happen. Do note that there are some signs that are up and they are permanent, but I think there's still more that have to be installed because at one point you get down to the bottom and there's blue ribbons. Regardless, it is a great improvement over the last means to get into town and some of the signs do have to be still put up in town. We did see some ATV signs and then there's also the pavement markings which will indicate what roads you're allowed to ride in. You can't just ride anywhere you want in Minersville, but there's plenty of places to get gas, have some food, and we'll hopefully do a video and highlight those locations at a later date, along with a map so you know where you're going. This will open full time and still to be determined, so check the Famous Reading website for more information. We went in and took a ride around. There weren't too many people there. It was a bit early in the day, but it's a great convenience to have, much like Shimokin is doing uh, over at AOAA to allow riders in. So a big thanks to everyone who made that happen. Most difficulties can get through. There are some rocky areas. It is a great trail to take, and it takes you about 10, 15 minutes to get there or back, but it's a work in progress and it's a great trail. We were able to sample some of the pizza bites, and we also had some pulled pork, and there was a good variety of food to have, and if not, you cooked your own. There was a lot of campers had their grills going, and you could smell the barbecue in the distance. Overall, everybody had a great time, and really there were no major events to be heard of as far as safety goes. And there were people that were enjoying the mud, 
and doing a little bit of racing for fun. We threw the drone up just to get a couple shots and to record everybody having a good time. As the sun was going down, everybody was ready for some music, and of course, the night ride would follow after the band played. a shout out to our sponsor evolution power sports your one-stop shop for pre-owned off-road and on-road vehicles be sure to give them a call and let them know that the beaten trail sent you you can also go online and pick up some beaten trail merchandise with a click of the button overall just a great time at fall takeover do appreciate you watching Please be sure to click our Amazon links 
And if you have any questions, drop us a note. We really had a good time, other than losing a drone somewhere out in the camping area. But if you do find it, drop us a note. We'd love to have the memory card back, but we're sure she's missing. Great to meet everybody, and we hope to see you again out on the trail. Thanks.